welcome back to my channel. Today we have a enchanted fountain. <clears throat> so this is what I'm looking forward to. So enchanted fountain is a bookish uh, fountain that you can get by monthly. Um, they did change last year to getting books in their boxes, which I absolutely love. <clears throat> and they don't leave any fanless behind, guys. I mean, they do not leave anything behind. Um, and I love it. <clears throat> so this is for marches and i think they were it's something with smut so it's going to be some sexy book in here i'm like oh i can't wait to read it my from reading these books on the day my reading <clears throat> from fantasy has gone from a long long way so this just opens up so i cannot hold any longer i want them to sad open up and this is what you see. Nothing. <coughs> Let's move the crinkle stuff. And hang oh. Okay. Well we have a print. And it's very small. Ooh. Ooh. We have looks like a vampire doing sexy time with a woman. Then we have our little spoiler card. Everything comes back. <clears throat> One thing with the Chandi Pandem as well, they do give you a recipe card for every time, and I love them. Today we have got the Zodiac Academy bagels. Oh, I can tell you my bagels. Yes. So that's what they look like. And here's the recipe too. Oh, these are good. <coughs> I have made bagels before when I was in college. Okay. <clears throat> Next up we have a is a patch patch. It's for this for this Billy Bookish. It's for the design. <clears throat> so there's House of the Wind Book Club. I don't know have I any idea what that's from. Um look like the iTunes at the moment. Then we have a <coughs> little book, a bookmark. It says, Careful, my books are spicy. And we have Proud Smut Reads, reader. Okay, so we have this guy. It looks like he's from Outlander. Outlander? Jamie Fraser? I think Outlander by Dion. I have not read that or watch it whatever i'm not a big fan of that anyway so there we go okay and then we got like a little sticker and then, so this says my book club reads smutty books that's good and then with the same artwork as a spoiler card we have this so this looks like just a little like lined notepad that's the one. <clears throat> okay. Then we have this. We have a bag, and it's just like this. Customer review: five cherries. Bought for the pot, save the smut. Oh yeah. <clears throat> so this looks, it's like, feels very velvet, well, not velvet, I mean like, inside it's like, more like silky, so this may be used for a makeup bag, I don't use makeup so I'll probably use it for my bookmarks or something when I'm out. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So we have a sign book plate. Love them. <coughs> and the book. No, I have seen this book before. And I was like, ooh, maybe I'll get into this. And I don't need to. I have the book right here. Oh my god. This is Neon Gods by Katie Robert. Oh, he was supposed to be in there. Oh, hello. 
what is this gonna be about um he was supposed to be made but from the moment i crossed the river sip i felt underneath under his dark spell he was quite simple and mine social darling persona dimitro plans to escape the ultra modern city of olympus and start over far from backstabbing politics in thir on 13 houses that's all ripped away when her mother ambushes her with an engagement to Zeus, the dangerous power behind the glittering city dark facade. With no options left, Persona, I can't say the name, I do apologise, uh, Persona Phone <clears throat> feasts a forbidden unsept under city and makes a devil's bargain with, uh, with a man she once believed a man. A man who awakens her to a world she never knew existed. Hades spent his life in shadows and has no intention of stepping into the light. When he found out that Persodes could offer a little slight of revenge, he spent years craving. It's all of the excuse he needs to help her for a price. Yet every breathless night spent tangled together, I have given Hades a taste for her when he goes to war with Olympus itself to keep her close. Oof. So this is like a Hades Persephone kind of telling. Ooh. Okay, I'm interested. You got me interested. Oh, I need a paperback. Oh, okay, guys. That's, I think, in the box. But I'm looking forward to this book. Oh my god, that's going to be some smart read. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I swear to god. So this month's box is Neon Cross by Katie Robert. A book is looking to assign book play. This book has taken the smart side of book talk by fandoms, and we couldn't wait to share this fandom with, world with you. <clears throat> so I have kind of read a smart book before, and that was... Heartless by Jen Showalter or something like that, and that was pretty hot to own. Um, I was correct. This is a makeup bag, um, designed by Novel Grounds. Carry all your essentials in this beautiful made bag. It is very beautiful, I love it. <clears throat> then we have our character card, which is by Miss Jingly, but don't know really read that. Then we have our um. Uh, Poppy and Castell's Love Scene by the Blood and Ash book. I uh, know this book, so would not know that. <clears throat> the Notebook and Spiller card is by this represents um, our characters. So that's going to be interesting. Mm. Um, then we have. Oh my god, I feel so bad. Oh my god, I didn't recognise it. So the patch is from A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Mass. Cross of Flames. You have read that? An idiot. <clears throat> and then the bookmark sticker and recipe card is all by a childhood fandom, which I love. Every one of these that it was given us is amazing. It's an opportunity to give us something out of our out of expect and I love how they're giving us books. Like I would not go for a smart book at all, I wouldn't go for it, but every childhood fandom they've definitely worked out my feelings or <clears throat> definitely that opportunities and I love it. It's so fun to see these different things being done. And <clears throat> so the next book is gonna be well, give it May. So May's gonna be the next book. So <clears throat> so I won't really back quote. Um so May's gonna be the next book. I have no idea what that theme's gonna be yet, so who knows what it's gonna be. But yeah, I do love the Enchanted the Fandom, they're really, really cool and I like them. I love them a lot. I hope one day I will be able to do a write for them. <laughs> Could be amazing. <coughs> <coughs> oh my god. My thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time for the next unboxing. Peace. Bye.